हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द सी प्रोग्रामिंग ट्यूटोरियल एंड इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल सी अनदर यूजर डिफाइंड डेटा टाइप्स या हेट्रोजीनस डेटा टाइप दैट इज यूनियन सिमिलर टू स्ट्रक्चर्स यूनियन इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप्स इज इट राइट बिकॉज वी इन स्ट्रक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड स्ट्रक्चर इज अ डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप्स एंड एज सेम एज स्ट्रक्चर यूनियन इज ऑल्सो अ सेट ऑफ डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप्स The only difference between a structure and union is that, in case of union, you can only store information in one field at any one time. Means, suppose we have two value. Suppose we have two data coll collected inside a union. That one is of integer type. and other is of float type so at any one time we can access other integer otherwise float we cannot access both the data type at a same time but in case of a structure we can access both so let us give uh, see an example in turbo c++ where we will do a programming and use both struct and union and see what is the basic difference so first of all declare a structure type def and struct point 1 and inside this remove this and inside this we define two variable int x and y and next thing declare another union and uh, declaration of union and structure is same point 2 and uh, only the basic difference is in a storing system not in its declaration and accessing method all things are same now we start a main function for point 1 Sorry, point one. Create a instance p one and store value two and three. And for point p two, suppose point two and p two. If we are doing so in point p two, then this is wrong. Invalid. In case of union. because it will uh, store both but it cannot store both at a same time so for union we need to do p2 dot x is equal to 4 suppose 4 and p2 dot y is equal to what 5 p2 dot y is equal to 5 so we have given value to the both the integer now print f in case in structure x is equal to percent d and y is equal to percent d we have changed the line also x is equal to percent d and y is equal to percent d comma just print p1 dot x comma p1 dot y now print f in case of percent n in a union percent n here also change the line here we have change the line x is equal to percent d and y is equal to percent d and one thing that we will do p2 dot x sorry x and p2 dot y that i need to display now get ch yeah we have an error where because we, oh we need to define first p2 and p2 now it should be fine yeah here in case of structure 
x equal to 2 and y equal to 3 but in case of union x equal to 5 and y equal to 5 first clear the screen then it will look good here see in case of a structure and case of union in case of union both the value of x and y is equal to 5 because at last he provided value 5 and it can access only one data type at a time so it gives the value both the value as 5 not as 4 but in case of a structure it access all the data type at a same time and this is the basic difference between a union and a structure so this is enough for the union and in next lecture we will see the most important data type that is enumerated data type so guys thank you for watching this video and please share and subscribe thank you